You know who else had a lot of will? Who? Nikocado Avocado. <laughs> So we're done with World War II. We it's it's been forty eight minutes. Oh my god! I know. I love World War I II. I know it's the most interesting thing, and I'm sick of them trying to fucking change the narrative around it. No, it's it's Lord of the Rings. It is. It is, it is the great the greatest story ever told. Yeah, for but us. in in watching this kind of like attempted reprogramming, I think you said it like the last. World War II vet died, and now this. And now we get this conversation happen. around. It happens every single time. It's so creepy. It makes me question whether we do have free will or we are just sort of in this story and we don't know what, what this our fourth, role is. This fourth turning wheel, essentially. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be the beginning of the clip. And if you want to hear us <laughs> talk for 45 minutes about this uh, Tucker Carlson uh, Cooper. and Cooper interview, you can go to Patreon, My Muse's Patreon. This is about... Nikocado avocado. Okay, Nikocado avocado. We're gonna lighten it up a little, so, just like Nico did. <laughs> ah. We have been. I have been, and I think you have. I've been. also followed Nikocado for a long time because, in, again, you can go back in our archive uh, Patreon. We definitely did something on Nikocado. You might have done a video. I on did Nikocado. a video about the obesity epidemic uh-huh. and um, mukbang fatso the yeah. movie. But in that podcast, I remember we, I have always been of the opinion that this is just like brilliant performance art, mm-hmm. right? And you watch his videos and there's some of it that's obviously, like he's obviously, you know, he's playing a character, yeah. whatever. But Cloud. his life mm-hmm. being this obese person after living his whole life as like a vegan. Violinist. Little, vi- beautiful well, violinist. violinist. It's insane. And how this, how the internet essentially literally transformed him into a monster and i have always need for attention i've always thought or hoped that this was part in his brain the whole time like he was aware he was self-aware that he had been audience captured into becoming a monster yes and now he's made this great shift was he self-aware of ozempic would come out <laughs> <laughs> well, no. It, let's give him some credit. Okay. Okay. Let's say I'm going to build the myth loses. of Nikocado Avocado, who's I don't know and might be a shit. All right. Fine. Let's 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 get people up to date. So yes, Nikocado Avocado. That's what Avocado, I'm going to do. Yeah. Is an influencer. Mm-hmm. Previously, was a mukbang influencer. Yes. And now, I guess he's on his way to being a fitness influencer. Well, wait. Okay. You're you're going too fast. The what? story of Nikocado Avocado is as important as what we were just talking about. Yes. To the modern age. Nikocado Avocado as as started his internet life as a like travely like foodie guy, and he was a vegan, and he ate right, and he was skinny and whatever. He started like a good eating channel or whatever. Yeah. Then he discovered mukbangs, so yeah. he started doing mukbangs. He got more popular as he would do these mukbangs. Then he started doing ridiculous mukbangs. He started eating meat for the first time on camera, and that started getting him more views and getting him more popular. Yeah. And then he started acting. Clearly acting, but mm-hmm. acting a little bit more ridiculous. And it sort of like snowballed over the course of three years where he started as this like 130 pound little gay kid. Yeah. And then fast forward four years, maybe even three years, 350 pound monster he got doing very, streams very with his boyfriend who also husband. gained a husband now, yeah. who also gained a ton of weight, like yeah. hundreds of pounds doing like, and this is... This, we always had an appreciation for this, but if you put it in the context of like you're in, okay, it's ancient Rome and you're on the streets of ancient Rome, what they would do as these two fat like gay guys living together, <laughs> like slapping each other and throwing food at each other, yeah. that's classic comedy. That really translates. It transcends time. You can take that act to like Cambodia. Yeah. And that's still funny. I don't have to know what it's they're saying. It's a hilarious act. It's funnier if I don't know what they're saying. And they would infuse these with like, okay, he left me, whatever. They, they yeah. would do their own drama thing. So and it popular. became this whole thing. And it was insanely popular. But he would always say to the camera, essentially like, look what you're doing to me. It seemed like he was trying, to, this whole his whole life sort of became a message or like became, he was trying to make the point of like, look at what we as a society are valuing and look at what it's doing to me. Like I am becoming this disgusting monster as a reflection of us all. Of what people want to see. I'm yes. giving them what they want and isn't it ugly? And isn't it awful? Yeah. And so there were like 
endless exposés on YouTube, which you refused to do. Good for you. I did. American It'll Be Story. Yeah. I talked mentioned it. it, but I'm not going to do <laughs> Right. Like that. But yeah, because it is sort of like cloud chasing, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, endless stories about like, look at what a monster this person's become on the internet or whatever. And I was always hoping that he was being very self-aware of that. And apparently, again, I'm not super deep into it, but apparently he had always said, at 30, I'm going to stop. And then he turned 30, and he yeah. didn't stop. He kept going. But it turns out he had pre-recorded two years worth of content so, to slowly so drip good. out while he lost, like, what, 250 pounds? Some insane amount of weight. Yeah. So he just, out of the blue, like yesterday or two days ago, released a video of him at, like, 130 pounds. Yeah. Well, I don't it's know if it's insane. 130. Like Whatever. He lost a lot, a lot of weight. Um and he doesn't look so like flabby like he's lost a lot of weight. He doesn't look deflated. Right. So he actually looks really good. And apparently this is the next chapter in his his performance piece. Because mm-hmm. he is an artist. And so this would be like a life artist, I guess. Like yeah. his, his entire life is now his art, not right. just the violin. Because it was so insanely sad and dark when you would see the videos of him playing the violin beautifully over videos of him being like a fat monster like just shoveling noodles in his mouth and like beating his boyfriend like it turned into like this freak show which again you watch it and you see the acting in it and you know that like they're putting this on obviously but there was always that this theater there was a thing you couldn't get out of your brain that was like yes he's acting right now but he's also did transform himself into this thing yeah so there were so many layers to it i'm just so happy he's done what he's done mm-hmm I hope it's been healthy. I haven't followed up. I hope he's still with his husband. Mm-hmm. I hope they're both, you know, together and thin. And if not, I hope they're both better off. We'll let some videos build and then we'll we'll check back in. Yeah, but congratulations, Nico yeah. Avocado, for what you've done. It's it, it, it was always been more of like a freak show obsession, right? Yeah, for everybody it is yeah. though. We don't know very many people like this. No. But it is, I mean, you talk about the idea of audience capture all the time. And I do think it is like one of the biggest issues we are facing. And it's not, it's not unique to the internet, right? Like TV personalities would essentially fall into that. But we're all now personalities. We are all people will fall into this. You'll act the way your tribe wants you to act. And Mm -hmm. if you don't, there are consequences. That's just human nature. That's just group dynamics. Mm -hmm. Very few people actually escape that. And influencers are the people who need attention and approval the most. So they're most likely to be audience captured ahead of some guy, just some random guy who really doesn't need such a big tribe and doesn't need so much support and attention. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think we got a little sidetracked with World War II today because we wanted to talk about the Russian infiltration story with Tenet Media. Hilarious. And we wanted to talk about that case in the south of France. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to try to get a midweek podcast out to you about that. Um, We just got sidetracked. Don't get us started on World War II or the Black Death, because <laughs> I swear to God, it'll take the whole day. Yeah, and if you want more, go to, in case this all makes the clip, go to <laughs> My Muses on Patreon. 